watching if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up click the like button if you've not already subscribed kindly do so share this video with friends and family I will pipe back in shortly Yes, work to refurbish the property fence in the alleyway has been placed on hold. This is to enable us to lay pipes from the building to the septic tank and the drainage wells. There are two pipes involved in carrying waste to the septic tank and drainage wells. The first is 100 millimeters in diameter. That PVC pipe carries waste exclusively from the toilets to the septic tank. The second pipe, 75 millimeters in diameter, carries waste water from the sinks, the showers, the washing machines that you have in the house. So basically, waste water from the bathrooms, the kitchen, and the laundry room. Those go into one of two designated drainage wells. As we approach the septic tank, I must say that I've had a lot of questions since the initial video on septic tanks came out. And oh, by the way, if you have not watched the septic tank video, please find time to do so. Very interesting, has garnered a lot of attention. And again, if you haven't done so, find the time to watch that particular video. Here, what I am going to do is just give a brief overview of how the septic system works. And after that, we will return to laying of pipes in the alleyway. Okay, we have stepped back in time. You can see a drainage well under construction. Adjacent to it is a rectangular septic tank. The septic tank has three chambers. The first two are relatively large compared to the third. The first chamber receives waste exclusively from the toilets. Gray water flows from the first into the second chamber. Solid materials settle to the bottom of the first chamber. Gray water in the second chamber is filtered in a filter box you can see the outlines of the filter box not yet constructed in this view and then it flows into the drainage well you can see 
and it soaks into the ground at three meters deep. There is no concrete plastering at the base of the drainage well. So gray filtered water soaks deep into the ground. It returns to the earth. Now we have two additional drainage wells in view. This one is for wastewater from the sinks, the showers, and washing machine in the laundry room. That one is for wastewater from the kitchen. Same concept, folks. Via the drainage wells, wastewater begins its journey back into the earth at three meters deep. Now, I will take leave of you to enable you to appreciate what members of the number one construction crew this side of the Atlantic are doing to cover up the drainage wells and the septic tanks. Be back with you shortly.
Hi there. We have a number of projects on the way at this time. We've got pipes that are being laid. We've got the property fence that is being refurbished. And we are thinking about embarking upon some more projects in the near future. As such, we will have videos for our viewers to watch. For those of you who would like to embark upon your construction projects, I hope you find this helpful. For those who are just watching for entertainment value, I also do hope you enjoy what we are bringing to you. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you very much for watching the videos. Until next time, this is Ayivi saying cheers.